going on there softers sphinx are still again it has been six months since we made a video we tried to make one yesterday on this gun here but uh had a bit of issue so expect a video on this gun later so that gun needs a little tlc but that is a new one to the arsenal so i was living in texas for about six months and, and you know i worked and got some money so i got a nice gun in here and actually got this this rifle case so that i can take rifles on the plane this time you know it's got the locks on it it's a big hard case got it in texas and it's a, it's a plano case so i think it's pretty badass now i can go to california i can go wherever i want and take guns with me so it's got the locks on there I had to get a tsa approved case to fly so this is a gun that i got in texas well no technically i got it on a hop up i unboxed it in texas in a hotel room and it sucked so i'm not gonna upload that so here it is these are two new guns that I have got while I was living there. This is a VFC 416 in literal mint condition. It even came with the mag in the original box. I got this gun for 100 bucks because the guy doesn't know what's wrong with it. So I will be making a uh, how to buy used airsoft guns guide and minor tech guide. So a video will come out on that later once this gun is complete. But this is the bread and butter of the video. This is an SAI EMG Salient Arms Gray. And I have to admit, you guys, this is actually my newest favorite rifle from my entire arsenal. This gun is just awesome. I love it. I approve of it. I've shot it already because, uh, you know, you didn't get to see the unboxing because, honestly, the unboxing sucked. It was in a dark hotel room. But, um... Yeah, um, so this gun, the story behind why I got the gray. Um, I'm going to Copperhead 6 this year. Ignore that donkey over there. <laughs> oh, that donkey's going ham. What's wrong with that thing? Anyway, um... Oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to Copperhead 6 this year. I bought my ticket. I hope I see you guys there. Um, my plan originally was to get the LVOA in 10, the Crytac. And couldn't find it for the right price. So I said, you know, fuck it. Like, I'm going to look for the gray. And some dude was selling the gray. Um, and guess how much I paid for it? 200 bucks for the SAI gray. So, I mean, the condition, a little scratch. But, like, honestly, who cares? The problem is, like, I like buying used guns because who wants to buy something brand new? And then you get, like, a scratch and it's all fucked up. So, like, I could treat this kind of like shit if I want to. Um, the reason it was $200. The guy didn't know that it worked. He's like, oh, I don't want to sell you a gun and then find out that it's broken. So I was like, you know, 200 bucks. I actually offered him more. I offered him like 250. He's like, ah, 200. I'm like, screw it. So obviously it comes with this Magpul grip, which is pretty comfortable. Um, it also comes with this cool stock. Now this is the EPS PTS Magpul stock. And I got to admit, I like this because these guns come with, um, some of them come with like a lame stock. And this one happened to come with a really comfortable, really nice crane style stock, which has great battery space. Um, so some of my personal opinions about the rifle. Um, one of the reasons it was so cheap, it's missing the pin here. So there's some like ugly tape, but I plan on getting the pin later because this is like a quick detach rail. So this is the jailbreak SAI gray. So obviously it's gray. Some of them come in black. Now the rail is just so cool here's the muzzle brake the gel brake muzzle brake and so the thing is i seen this a long time ago when SAI first made it and i thought that is super cool dude like i can't wait for an airsoft one the airsoft one came out at a crazy price so luckily enough i was able to get one for a really cheap price so it's a quick detach gel brake muzzle device it has a um what are these called like i forgot what these are called these are um Fuck. What are these called, Phil? Uh, I mean, it's just a quick detach, but I'm not too sure. There's a, there's a certain name for it. Okay, I can't remember the name, but it, it is threaded, so I guess you could put a really big suppressor over it. And then there are 14 millimeter negative threads underneath, so you can attach a suppressor, which I will do later, maybe not during the video, but we are gonna get a lot of gameplay with this gun. So without the muzzle brake, it's actually kind of like a normal size, kind of normal looking M4, but obviously what makes it so cool is the attachment of this thing. And the real steel one is designed to like disperse um, like the muzzle flash because it's got all these little cool little holes. Now the design is super cool because you can 
add attachments that will slide on from the front. So you have a little bit of picketing space there, but you could slide a flashlight on through the front or if you wanted through the back. So this rail is just so freaking cool. The paint is awesome. You can see here all the trademarks are etched. They're not painted, they're etched. So we have SII logos. See, some are covered up. But we have SII logos everywhere. SII box logo. The, um, the selector points are engraved. Another logo here. Um, markings along the top you have all the trademarks for the gray all etched main Las Vegas so yeah um, personal opinions about the gun um I hate the grip now the grip is like a knockoff Magpul style with some like what looks like SS logos on it but um I just I'm not a fan of this chunky grip I think it's really uncomfortable I have a Magpul um, grip that I will be throwing on here. Now the motor on this gun, we'll see in a second. I think the motor sucks on full auto, so I'm going to put a Titan, uh, a Titan A1 motor in here for my scar, since my scar is busted and it's just a piece of shit. The VOC scar internals are so bad, so I'll put a motor, um, grip, um, and it's honestly a little inaccurate. Now I can't speak for how this gun performs stock because this is a used gun, so who knows what the previous owner did to it. I'm, I think it's stock. Now the thing with these is that some of them have like a regular GMP gearbox. This one has the I, I think it's called the I-5 or the I-8. I'm pretty sure it's I-5 gearbox. So it actually has a micro switch. So let's see if I can just if I can do this on camera. There's the click point right there. Really short click point micro switch. So that's cool. Um, I, when I got this gun, I was expecting just regular trigger contacts. But since it has a micro switch, like I was gonna put that in there, but it already has it, so I was pleasantly surprised about that. Um, the weight of the rifle, I'm guessing, six seven pounds. It weighs a lot less without the muzzle brake. Um, the tolerance is in fitment; it moves just a little bit from the upper and the lower. But then again, I'm missing this pin, um, so we can't speak for how the stock gun is gonna feel. Um, the selector switch, I do not like. Luckily, it's not ambi. Ambi selector switches on airsoft guns suck, especially VOT. But um, it doesn't click into place. There's no audible click like with the VFC down here. It has a really nice selector switch. This one does not click into place, so it's a little difficult to tell. Like, say you got it in the middle by accident, you'll have issues. But it's like a polymer, like extended one. Um, Forest Thunder doesn't like it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it seems okay. Um, other than that... What can I say about this rifle? It has the fake gold bolt that I actually added to my APS, if you remember that. Um, it's a little finicky um, since I got the gun in two parts. So you have a stock um, hop up, which I don't really like. And then to close it, I just have to push it. It also has the SAI like shiny forward assist, which does nothing. But you know, SAI likes to be fancy. Standard magazine release. Um, I want. I wish I had a flat trigger since it, you know it's got the really sensitive trigger. A flat trigger would be awesome. So maybe I put that in later. So since this, since I like this rifle so much, I'm gonna really put the best internals I can into it and make it like my workhorse go-to. Like this is my new primary for airsoft right now. Um, so without further ado, let's shoot it because that is exciting, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I find it really comfortable to hold it like this and use this as more of a hand stop. So my hand. Is resting here, my thumb here. You can see that's that's just the most comfortable way of controlling it, in my opinion. This, I feel the grip is in a weird position. I could move it if I want to, but overall, this feels really comfortable, and I like that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the the bolt does not close because this is really fat, and it'll actually damage this. So it's got a little scuff me trying to close it. So that actually does not close. So, um, let's take a look at the battery compartment. I love this stock. I think this stock is awesome. It's really comfortable, really easy to access. Previous owner has added Dean's plugs, and I don't see a fuse in there, so that's good. That's what I would do. Um, plenty of space for lipos. You know, you got the crayon style. You can put lipos in either spot. You have tons of space for wiring, so good battery compartment. Let's get ready to shoot it.
Okay. Uh, what ground babies are these? Two fives. Two fives. All right. So I actually took my time to sight in my red dot for the first time in my life. So that could account to why I'm so inaccurate when I play her song. Because I have never actually sighted in my guns with my red dots. So this one is actually dead today. Great trigger response because of that micro switch. Now the, the motor the motor sounds so whiny and I adjusted it a bunch of times. I it just needs a whole new motor on this. I don't know if this is a stock motor. But overall, um range is okay. I had a scope on there and I was looking at accuracy. It was kind of wild. Um like I said, I'm changing the internals. Motor, barrel, hop, hop rubber, all that. I'm leaving the gears in the in the gearbox alone. Now this is the part that I don't like. Full auto on this gun is just so fucking slow. This was this is an 11.1 .1 lipo. I mean, it just sounds slow. Like like for comparison, here's the honey badger. What's what batteries in this? Same type, 11.1. 11.1. Here's yep. the full auto on this. Well, it's a little faster. It's just a lot louder. That's. But this also has a micro switch, so like I I love micro switches. Is like, why did fire full auto? What the heck? Okay, but uh, anyway, yeah, I I don't like the full auto. I think it's a bit slow. But yeah, so I'm gonna use it mostly on semi. So let's do a little walk and shoot. So I have it sighted in for about this distance. Well, I thought I saw, is that guy outside? I thought I saw, okay, I guess not. I thought I saw a movement. Okay. I love the trigger response. Any, any micro switch in a gun is fantastic. So I might use this this weekend in Fighter Town. So we will see in first person how it does. I have a plethora of videos on the back burner. So there, there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out in 2020. I got a new computer that's not a piece of shit. I had an HP Pavilion for like 10 years. I got it in like 2010, it was, it was like a nightmare. Every time I edit a video for you guys, like all of my videos have been a complete nightmare to make. So I got a an HP Omen with a new graphics card. It's a little better. It's not. It's not a beast like you guys, computer guys, think of, but I'm going to try to pump all those gameplays out. There's like six gameplays that I have not uploaded, and I have two unboxings from Texas. While I was in Texas, I got a gas like pistol, I got a lever action rifle, obviously I got this, and uh, soon we're going to have a video on this bad boy, a freaking Walter P99, a real gun. Because uh, I sold that 1911 that I used to have because it was really heavy, so, and I like them all. So, we'll, we'll have real still videos. See, this is a problem. That was semi-auto and it, it, it randomly shot. I think it's a bit overpriced, so, you know, like me, I got mine on hop-up. It's good. I, I really like it. You want to get over the shoulder so we can see if it's how accurate it is. I fucking love the trigger response on this. That's basically empty. So, um, yeah, that has been the uh, the Salient Arms EMG Evike Manufacturing Group Gray rifle. So, um. This gun, I, I'm pretty sure most of them are really long. Uh, I'd say this is like a carbine length, the one I wanted. Um, what can I say other than I love it? One thing that pisses me off, there's no sling mounts. You have to get a quick detach or, or somehow do a key ring in the back. I have one. You have a quick detach? Yes. For this? Oh, cool. <laughs> but, um, other I gotta than find that, it though. I need to buy a uh, cosmetic. It's just cosmetics. It's not like a recoil shock where you have to push it. 
Other than that, like here's a quick look at the gearbox. Uh, looks like it's got a metal hop-up unit. Um, I don't think the hop's that great, honestly. But it is metal with the purple gears. So um, this is the gun that I want to just put all good internals in because what can I say? I mean, like it's it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous gun. You're on video, right? Yeah. Okay. I fixed it. Yep. <laughs> Shot awesome. Oof. All right. Today is my last chance to get two quarter pounders for the price of one. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um. I shoot it without the jailbreak. Oh yeah. This thing I, I was trying to remember what it's called. Muzzle brake. That's what this thing is called. Oh. It's weird. When you screw it in all the way, it's not like the muzzle brake should be on the sides of the gun, but for some reason it's on the the front and the top and stuff. So it's a lot, like look, it's like a regular M4 now, almost. Almost. Motor's getting pretty warm, but it's 11.1 on semi, so. Oh, I got an idea, pause it. Australian noob hunter here, back in the Amazon. A old Australian noob hunter got stung by a stingray, so uh, we're here to take over. We have this rifle, it's American made, it's not Australian, so I'm not sure that it's gonna fire. But uh, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. It's just like the dirt red, nice and nice fine. Not, not Australian dirt, but uh, we'll make it do. It may be American made, but we'll see what we can do with the rifle. Now, we're looking for some warm backs out here and, and some peri dogs. Oh, crocky! Oh, what was that? See, I told you, American made. You need to buy Australian, or else you're gonna have weird shit like that. Damn, American guns!